so here I've got this Rust-Oleum Neverwet. Now, when I first saw the uh, demonstration videos of this stuff, I thought it would be uh, pretty neat to use on the bike. Since then, I've come to find out that this stuff doesn't work real well in places that you're going to handle a lot because of the oils of your skin or places that are going to see a lot of wear. So I thought maybe a good place to try this would be some of the places that seem to accumulate mud and dirt like the undersides of the fenders. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to spray down the underside of my fender with this, take the bike out, get it muddy, and see what happens. I okay, got the fender about as clean as we can get it, and it's time to put the uh, first coat on. Now we're ready to try the base coat. Alright, I've waited about a half an hour, so now it's time to apply the top coat. Top coat is dry and you can see it definitely changed the uh, appearance of the fender just a little bit. It definitely has a, a frosted finish to it now. So I would uh, not apply this to the outside of the plastics for sure. Right, it's been drying for about an hour now so let's do a quick little test and uh, see how this works. So tomorrow we'll uh, take the bike out and get it muddy and see how this uh, works as a mud repellent. Here's the aftermath of yesterday's ride. You can see, definitely got into some mud. There's the rear fender, pretty packed up. And now the front fender where we applied the never wet. Pretty clean. I think I'm going to give it a few more rides and uh, see how durable this ends up being. And if it ends up sticking and staying on there and it keeps working the way it did for this first ride, I think I'm going to uh, apply it to the underside of more of the plastics, especially that rear fender. So, so far, so good.